Hello, how you doing, church family? Listen, I, I was so busy working on stuff for you guys yesterday that I didn't make a video, and I apologize. But I have a couple things I want to tell you about today uh, that are, well, like maybe three things today. First of all, some of you know this, but I have a an interview recorded with Matt Gass. Um, so I'm going to be editing that, finishing up the details on that, and getting that out to you as soon as I can. That'll be in the next few days. I don't know exactly when, but soon. So that'll be that'll be interesting, exciting to look at. He's he's uh, well, it's going to be really good to watch um, because of uh, the stuff that he has to say. So look forward to that. Uh, I also have some other interviews coming with with actually some of you, and uh, I'll be talking more about that in the coming days. And you'll be seeing a lot more of those coming up real soon. Some stuff I'm really excited about with that. Also, something from um, Joel Arnold. If you were in our uh, Wednesday night Zoom prayer meeting when Joel was there with us. Um, you heard him talking about how he memorizes. And the way he memorizes, I think, can really, really tie in very nicely with our action groups, particularly as we start Ephesians and begin a new, a new session here. A little more challenging, challenging session, admittedly, um, but if we're, not, if we're not being stretched, we're not growing. So uh, we're going to see how Ephesians goes. But along with that, and a way to help us benefit even more from the book, is if we work on memorizing it together. And you're like, whoa, a whole book. But here, listen to this, okay? This is Joel's method, Joel and his family, his method, their method for memorization. And I think it's pretty doable. What he does is he reads through uh, whatever he's trying to memorize, say a chapter, 10 times out loud every day. And all three of those are crucial. 10 times out loud and every day. He does that. He doesn't, he doesn't try to work on it. He doesn't have little cards. He works on one phrase and then one phrase. That's standard the way we memorize things. And I'm not, I'm not putting those down. But the way that he has recommended to memorize and the way that he memorizes is he just reads the chapter he's working on. So we could read Ephesians chapter 1 to begin with because that's where we are in our action groups. And he reads it 10 times out loud every day. 10 times out loud every day. And he says in about two weeks he has it memorized which I think is astounding. So I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best and uh, see what we see, what, see what, see what I can do. Uh, I would like to challenge you to do it with me. And can you imagine how my, uh, mind blowing it would be if our church memorized the book of Ephesians as we are studying it in depth together in action groups? Think what God can do when we hide his word in our hearts a lot. That's what God can do. So let's do with this. Let's, let's work on this together. I'm going to try. I would like you to try. Let's see what we can do. And let's see, more importantly, what God can do in us and through us. All right. We'll see you again soon. Love you. Bye.